Kaya says, Hi Brad, this is the first single for my upcoming album and the second one I've ever dropped. That's crazy. And I'm extremely proud of how it came out. To anyone in chat who uses Album of the Year, the song is on there, so feel free to rate it. I hope everyone enjoys. I We're going to do this right. You You put so much time into this. Here we go. Anyone who wants to listen, here's the YouTube link. I'm going to get you the Spotify link. I'm going to get uh, the album of the year page. All right. The whole nine yards. Let's, uh, here we go. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look at you. Thank you, Emily. I love you. Oh. You guys see this? Kaya, 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 Kaya. Oh. Let's take this in for a second, you guys. The world has spoken. They like this track, all right? Whatever we're about to get into, people like this track. Kaya, thank you. I, I'm honored that you showed up here. Thank you for the $80. I'm so excited to hear your song. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to rain on your parade real quick. Now, here's the problem with Album of the Year, and here's the problem with close communities. They're not going to tell you what you need to hear, Kaya, and you came to the right person. You're going to get a lot of very positive feedback on this, but it might not become super successful. And I think a really important thing to remember is it might be because of details that you wouldn't know unless you really talk to some people who like were outside of the internet sphere. Uh, specifically when it comes to instrumentation, there's acoustics, there's like things about this that are very subtle that experts would be able to help you with um, to make it so that the music actually can engulf you. And like outside of the limitations of whatever technology it is you're using to make this song. I deal with the same thing and I would give myself the same advice. So, you know.
like that's the thing is like even if it is all synths, like it is still important to understand like padding and te texture because it will allow you to like here's the thing imagine like let's pretend this song took two years to make i have no information let's say it took two years to make right i feel like if you are able to have the resources to make your vision possible Theoretically, we're typing, talking hypothetically, not even talking about this song. If you have the resources, you can make that two years into like two months and have it be exactly what you want it to be because you have the tools to paint your exact vision. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. I'm really interested in this part where you're talking about not finding yourself and the effects and the hiding behind it. Because uh, in like 2019, I made music where I tried a very similar effect and tried to do it as like a way of screaming out, like outwardly, like not being okay. You know, and trying to like express that and like hiding that under noise. And it kind of. I, I went with a similar chopped and bit crushed, like almost um, faded out sound like this. Okay, I, I have to admit, I looked at chat for a second. I saw evil tree fingers and I actually kind of like, I died a little.
Oh. It's like throbbing gristle. little like hidden melody there so it's still catchy even though it's like horror but moving it up yeah yep yep you got it yeah fantastic yeah <laughs> you're catching that wave you're riding that frequency as it shows up so good Engulfed is a song with a very small message. Or like, small is in, it needs to be said in very few words. Small message is in, I can't find myself. Stretched throughout nine minutes, and it's basically the only words that need to be said it is, as it is the call for help that essentially decides what happens before and uh, the waves that sort of ride out after. Um, I love the noisy experimentation throughout this track. It's my favorite part of it. This middle section where things start to really disorient, uh, disorient and become uh, just overall... What's the word I'm looking for? Uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the songs become uh, uncomfortable. And... Oh, songs become uncomfortable. Hold on. I'm a little confused here. Let's see. Oh, it's because I heard the dogs outside. Okay. <laughs> I got distracted by the dogs. Uh, anyways, point being, um, Kaya, I think that what you've done here is fantastic, but I can see the full vision. Kaya, you are a brilliant up-and-coming up artist. No question about it. You have a vision. 
work on some resources, do some research, get that sound refined, even remaster the two songs. Don't give up on them. You don't have to move on. Understand that. Just because you released Engulfed doesn't mean it's out and, you know, like, what, are you, what is a label on your ass? Was the label management spanking you, saying you gotta move on to the next song? Hell no! If you think you can do more, do more. You know? And for that reason, I'll tell you what. Because I don't expect you to send in this song again, I would never. It's so generous, you sending it in in the first place. I'm going to say, if you take my advice, spend a bit more time, do some research, and really learn a bit more about some texturing, you know, and just iron out those little details, get that vision perfect, then you'll deserve this. I'm feeling a Everybody, if you enjoyed that song, I'm going to link you the album of the year page where you can give it a score, uh, speak on any more thoughts that you have, and just overall express and maybe find some community in how you feel about it. Ah. Why is it that Brad got a bit softer than before? Let me put it like this. I, I, I'm going to answer this question because I love this question. This is such a great question because it is a beautiful thing. I have felt immense pain in the last month, like real pain, not just like, you know, like, oh, my mom took my Xbox away. No, real pain like, oh, I've been hurt like real bad. I've been trying to do good. And everyone thinks I'm trying to do bad because I don't know how to communicate properly. <laughs> that is real pain. Going through that pain, which I'm currently doing now, and knowing that that's never going away, and that is just who I am, and I have to accept it and find the good in life, you know? That is why I'm in a better mood. Because it actually is about finding the good. Because that actually is what this is about. That is what listening to music is about. It actually is hard living. So music is a beautiful form of expression, and we should open up our arms, and we should let people into the family instead of excluding them. I'm tired of that shit. It's so disgusting. It's so against everything that I started this fucking channel for. You know what I mean? That was born from a frustration of an audience that I had years ago that became part of my personality. You know, like I'm not like those people aren't around anymore. The same situations, the same circumstances aren't around anymore. And I'm acting like I was when I was 18, when I was 17 and 18. That is why I'm acting more positive because I am recognizing that my time is limited. I am growing up and this will not last forever. So I need to make the best of it. I would rather listen to a song by Kaya who probably poured their fucking heart out into this song and like give it my all try find the good in it because if i'm not doing that then i'm just sitting here wasting time what else am i doing you know find the good because it's going to pass whether or not you find it or don't all right